Hi, everybody. Welcome to the second episode of Wednesday Evening Musicale. I, uh, I'm coming to you from my little corner of the world, but I'm coming to you from my heart, mostly. I hope you're maintaining buoyancy. I hope you've had a lovely spring day, and, um, and I hope you enjoy the songs I put together for you tonight. I'm going to do a little sort of cohort of songs here that I'm calling Heart and Soul. Slow, steady, slow, steady, slow, steady, slow, steady, heart. That's what the lady doctor said to me when I showed up for an emergency. It was a pretty nasty injury with pain and swelling I could feel and see. But what I heard you see was you have a slow steady heart slow steady heart you see the night before I'd gone out to the woodshed to get some firewood for our stove and uh, in the process dropped a huge piece of oak firewood on the top of my foot ouch so the next morning, I found myself in the emergency room to get an x-ray since I was about to leave for a trip to Florida. And I kind of was resistant to the idea. I'm thinking, I'm fine. I'll be fine. I'll just keep my foot stuck in ice. I'll be fine. And I'm kind of stoic there on the gurney. And the people are coming and going, taking their little pieces and parts of me while we're waiting and waiting for the x-ray. And suddenly, this woman walked in the door, a white coat, stethoscope, looked like a doctor. Didn't say a word. Came right up to me, put her stethoscope on my chest, and listened for a couple of minutes. And then she looked me right in the eye. And that's when she spoke. She said, you have a slow, steady heart. And then she walked out of the room. Well, everything changed right there. I went from my stoic, stiff self to suddenly feeling very expansive at getting this glorious news. I, I, was, I was feeling like, really? <laughs> Me? And I don't know, maybe she was a doctor, maybe, maybe she was an angel, I'll, I'll never know. She had no name, I, I couldn't even tell you what she looked like to this day. But a couple months later, in my convalescence, I remembered that moment, and, and that's where this song came about. <laughs> What does it mean to have a steady heart When our whole world seems to be falling apart What does it mean that it is beating slow In spite of pain and everything I know Well, it's a mighty mystery I have a slow, steady heart Slow, steady Slow, steady Slow, steady Sometimes the thing we really need to hear Slips unexpectedly into our ear Where time and place have not prepared us for 
the very news to make our spirits soar. Well, here's breaking news for free. I have a slow, steady heart. Slow, steady. Take some time to heal But that dear woman helped me keep it real She said almost tenderly You have a slow, steady heart been invited to a garden party. You have accepted the invitation to behold the delicately wrought gloriousness, shyly, wearily. But more than that, with love, unconditional love of every heartbeat, 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 once turned in rage against self, so beaten by your own heart, wounded now, you huddled outside and waited for some one of those few passing through to ask you in. No one would, though, nor could. Nor could they even touch what you began in your own garden without you there to call out the names, the colors of your desires still growing bounteously in spite of banishment. So some left, some waited, bewildered, calling. And now, after a too, too long absence, the invitation resonates. The garden is crying out, come you back, guest of honor into self. You peek in and discover that hatred has grown old and forgetful of its own reason for being. So like spring thaw into a dry stream bed comes a swift murmur that there has always been room for you here, always a need and a promise so that even the wildest seedlings bloomed and perfumed hope into nostrils of despair and tried to stay beautiful for your return, for your return. This sweetness is all for you wafting freely through the garden's gate, thrown open like a mouth in fragrant song, hallelujah of the heart. You hear a beating. It is a beating like wings, born of power from a pure center. You have been invited to a garden party of your own sweet heart, delivered and accepted in one long motion toward that center. Burn the sage, the leaves of rose and wintergreen, light the candles in the middle of the afternoon. Walk inside, reach out into the lush tangle of self-longing. Breathe, breathe deeply. You have come home. <laughs> Thank you. 
Here's a song written by my dear friend Peter Mayer. There are a hundred billion snowflakes swirling in the cosmic storm And each one is a galaxy, a billion stars or more And each star is a million Earths, a giant fiery sun High up in some sky, maybe shining on someone And deep inside a snowflake, I am floating quietly. I am infinitesimal, impossible to see. Sitting in my tiny kitchen, in my tiny home, staring out my window at a universe of snow. But my soul is so much bigger than the very tiny me It reaches out into the snowstorm like a net into the sea Out to all the lovely places where my body cannot go I touch that beauty and embrace it in the bosom of my soul So brief and fleeting is this tiny life of mine Like a single quarter note in the march of time But my soul is like the music, it goes back to ancient days Back before it wore a human face Long before it bore my name Because my soul is so much older than the evanescent me It can describe the dawn of time Like a childhood memory It is a spark that was begotten From the darkness long ago What my body has forgotten I remember in my soul This life together, my giant soul and tiny me, one resembling forever, one like smoke upon the breeze, one a deep abiding ocean, one a sudden flashing wave, and counting galaxies like snowflakes. I would swear we were the same. Oh, my soul belongs to beauty, takes me up to lofty heights. Teaches sacred stories to me, sanctifies my tiny life Lays a bridge across the ages, melts the boundaries of my bones Paints a bold eternal face On this passing moment, oh my soul My Soul by Peter Mayer. Well, I don't know about you, but uh, my house has not become cleaner as a result of being quarantined. I keep hearing these people brag on Facebook. I suppose if you don't clean your house, you're not going to brag about it. But um, for me, cleaning house has always been something I do before I leave on a road trip so that I know I'm coming back, or at least I 
delude myself that I'm coming back to a clean house. But as the weeks go by, I, I keep losing my windows, you know, and it's getting pretty bad around here. I, I do what I call the barefoot test. And that means that um, I walk around barefoot, of course, and check out the floors. And if it starts to feel like a slightly stony beach, I, I know it's time to clean the house. And I can tell you that it is way past time to clean the house. <laughs> Nevertheless, I've been really intrigued by all the discussions going on about uh, productivity versus just being in this time, of the opportunity that we have instead, because time is slowed down, instead of trying to do all the things that we filled up the fast time with, um, we just get to be quiet a little bit. Um, that's something to think about. I think of that as an activity. I think of that as sort of striving to underachieve, you know? I, if, you, if you maybe think of it that way, it's a little easier to do. So I'm gonna sing this song for you. It's a kind of um, music therapy song. It started for me because I, I grew so tired of hearing the word busy whenever I asked somebody how they were. They just said busy. Now what, what does that tell me? What, is, what does that say about a life? And so, so th I took that a little further and I started experimenting. When people asked me what I'd been up to, I would just sort of shrug my shoulders and say, nothing. And, and it causes quite a reaction. I, I suggest that you try it when we're able to be out and talking to people again, which I hope is not too far from now. Um, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a tough thing for people to hear. So that's why I wrote this song, which in fact is called Nothing Slash Mental Health Day. There's a little piece of writing from the writer E.B. White that I just love, that sums it all up. He said, I arise each morning torn between the desire to savor the day, excuse me, to savor the world or to save the world. This makes it hard to plan the day. Nothing. Now I've been encouraging people to join in with me from your couch or wherever you are when there's a part that you feel like singing on. This has a little ooh at the beginning of each verse. If you'd like to join me, please do. If not, just sit there and do nothing. <laughs> Not a dreamer, not a singer, not a schemer. I'm a girl in my pajamas with a lovely book to read. And isn't it fantastic to be circumspect and tender, not a hero or pretender to a throne I never asked for and I certainly don't need. And I will give them nothing, and nothing is my name. And though they preen and posture, they are nothing just the same. And I will cook some breakfast, and I will feed the birds, and I'll stay here the whole damn day free of schedules, worries, and words. The world continues raging with its huddled thronging with its hunger and its longing just to get a little closer to what passes for success ah oh, but i'm just a woman claiming nothing in this respite though the tyrant and the desperate never cease their greedy grabbing in their passion to possess and i will give them nothing and nothing's fine with me you can have your expectation, I will take my ecstasy. But should you care to join me, I will hold a space for you. It will be the nothing special only known by me and you too. <laughs> a 
a long time ago, when I was living on Beaver Island, uh, we were enduring a fairly long season of drought. And that's when I, I started writing this song and I want to wind up today's musicale with. But over the years, it, uh, it came to really represent a, a, a different kind of a drought. Not really a drought even, but, but a something that looks like nothing, at least to the, to the outer world. Um, when even your best friends are sort of looking at you, like waiting. So they say the world is made of introverts and extroverts or combinations thereof. And, and that's another thing I've, I've seen in, in conversations is this is a time that's tailor-made for the introverts among us, um, this isolation, this solitude. So I'm going to wind up with a kind of celebration of that and, and the idea that actually we're, we're very busy at the cellular level. This is called Persephone's Song. Sun's been shining for weeks on end. You say, isn't that lovely? Aren't we lucky, my friend? But I want something more like the night. I'm so tired, tired of the light. I know you hope it stays, but I need my rainy days. So bring those heavy skies, roll them right in. You can lay them right on me with a chilly, wet wind. Let them open while I shut down. They drive me, drive me underground. I know these aren't your ways, but I need my rainy days. Oh, I can't dream with this hot sun gleaming or bury myself in a blanket or two. I can't go in when the light is streaming. I mean way inside many things to do. So many dreams to keep. It gets so quiet. When I go real deep Now my heart's not broken I'm fine and I'm free So you can stop asking What is wrong with me? Too damn much color and light That's all It numbs me numbs me till I call for the beauty, the beauty in the grays. And I need my rainy days. Oh, I need my rainy Well, that winds up this week's episode of the Wednesday Evening Musicale. I'm looking forward to seeing you next week at 7 o'clock Eastern Time for another group of songs. Um, this is very exciting for me to be able to put together little sets like I, like I would if I uh, were going to do a concert somewhere else other than my own house. This has totally radicalized the concept of a house concert. And uh, by the way, I need to take off pretty soon and, and uh, go clean my house. Oh, oh, wait a minute. What's that book over there? That looks pretty interesting. <laughs> so join me next week. Um, if you feel uh, inclined, 
You can go to my website, claudiaschmidt.com. I have a little virtual tip jar there. You can float some green energy my way, as I like to say, and help me out a little bit. And hopefully I've helped you out a little bit as well. So let's keep it going. Let's keep taking care of each other and being kind. And we'll see you next week. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.